Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do a quick video just kind of showing the new uh, PS5 update. Uh, I guess the, the way they uh, label them is different now. It says version 22.01-05, and then uh, more numbers, more zeros at the end of that than uh, what a government can tack onto a figure. And uh, for specifics, obviously, you could just check uh, PlayStation or Sony's uh, social media or just the website itself, or when you go to update it. Um, I'm just gonna talk like in my use case, I like some of the changes, mostly uh, this downloads. So now you can see your uploads here. I'm not sure if when you had an upload, if it would pop up, but now you can individually pick between the two. So anytime you bring this up, at least now you get a little bit more uh, info than you did, but you still have to click through it twice to get to the actual megabytes, the actual file size. Um, rather than see the time, I'd rather have just had that here, but uh, no big deal. And I assume if you do more than one download, that you'll probably still have to click twice. I'll actually just try this in real time. But for me, that's like the main appeal to me is I just like that. Uh, you can see for the most part that everything still looks the same. Okay, so it actually does show multiple downloads so that I do like that. But again, you still have to go into here, but that's not too bad. And notifications still about the same. And then when you bring up uh, this, I like how with the friends menu, it shows everything in the first page. So you don't have to click through it. That's an improvement. And then one thing I do want to show is you can also uh, check this keep in home. Uh, I guess it's kind of like pins on Xbox. But uh, so I guess I'll try it here. Just kind of curious to see how that'll work because it doesn't like put them in a different spot i guess it just kind of holds them where they're at and see if anything so all of this still seems to work the same they did say there were some changes with the trophies that doesn't really look much different to me at least that i pick up on but now i'm curious to go So it definitely did keep this, but say I keep this one as well. See, they're both still in separate spaces. So you would have to populate this over time. If I went through and checked like all of these, then I guess that would work. But it'd be kind of nice if it had, uh, I'm not sure like how, but just it would automatically all populate maybe like right here. And then the non checked ones would, I don't know, but. And it's the same, you still have the game library. So you, you can't uh, go for an update unless you start it compared to when they're up here. So you could pick a few of your PS4 games, I guess, and keep in home if you wanted to update them, but I don't know how many PS4 games frequently get updates to where that would be a priority. I'm not too sure if there's really anything else worth mentioning. I would like to see Again, a little bit better organization with uh, this bar up here and your actual library. I still like the PS4 setup a little better, but it is, at least for me, the thing I would use the most is just checking on my downloads. So that is improved. I'm not sure if all of this was already basically on the first click like it was, or if it was buried behind another screen, but that's... And there's really not much else to show to it. So you can again look at the specifics. I don't think it's anything game changing. I suppose there's supposed to be a VRR update, but it's in the future, so not yet. But I think I'll leave it there. And it's that's just the state of the PS5 with the newest software for uh, March, 2020. Uh, so thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.